What's going on everybody? I've got Alex, brand new Hoy RX-7 Ultra Carbon. I'm gonna show you guys how to install the Hoy Ultra Rest Integrated MX Rest on his bow today. So we're gonna get it loaded up in the bow vise and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. All right guys, before you do your rest, you wanna make sure you're on the right draw length. So you need to find out what your draw length is and uh, you can go here. I just typed in Hoy RX-7 Ultra Draw Length Chart and it'll take you right to their website. And then you're gonna go here, Carbon RX-7 Ultra, and it gives you a PDF. So you're gonna click that PDF and it's gonna pull up your draw mod right here. So Alec is a 30 inch draw length. So luckily they come shipped. It says right here, shipped module position. And then you go up here and you're gonna go down uh, K through A and it comes shipped on E, which E is your 30 inch draw length. So you're gonna go through, figure out what letter you are, what length you are, and set your uh, draw mods up to that. You can go and start recording. I am. All right, okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you everything that comes in the box, show you everything that's with the rest. So you got your instructions here. Hopefully we don't need those. I've done one before. But uh, you got your, your tool bag, you've got your uh, little, we call them a football, and your uh, the, the football is the piece that you actually attach to your string for your, uh, that way your rest can come up. I mean, it sends you, they come with tools. Let's see, we don't need that. Let's go ahead and slide this out, get the rest out of here. Lay that down, there's your rest and the cutout foam. Pretty sweet packaging, really. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's simple. You know, you open the top, there's mm -hmm. there's all your stuff, and then it comes with this. So that's it. That's all it takes to unbox it. Nothing special, but that's your rest. We're gonna take it. You're gonna mount this piece back here. It goes to the spot here on your bow. It mounts right up. It's really, really simple to do. So uh, we're gonna get it lined up and get it put on. Show you guys how to do it. All right, guys, to get started, you got to take out this Allen head here, and they provide you with the right size Allen. So you got to do just you're just going to pop that loose, and you got to take this whole side cover off. So there's that screw if I don't lose it. And you take this whole side cover off, and it's going to expose another little clamp inside. So right here, where this arrow is, where this little bitty Allen head is, where that rotates you're gonna open that up and that's gonna go straight to the bow. So we're gonna show you how to do that part. All right, so the next step, you've got this little Allen screw here. That's gonna allow this here to open up and go on this rail right here in the back. We'll go ahead and loosen this up. And all you're gonna do, I'm gonna stand up here to do it so I can see what I'm doing, so you guys can see what I'm doing. But all you're gonna do, there's a line here on your bow that's dead center. So you're gonna line up this arrow. I'm gonna have to open this up a little more. You're gonna line up that arrow with the arrow on your wrist. It's hard to tell if I got it lined up right from this side, but I'm doing the best I can so I can show you guys how to do this. Look like it's lined up, Alec. Right in there. Yeah, it looks really good right there. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten this up. You don't wanna over tighten it, but you wanna get it tight enough it's not gonna move on you. That's the nice things about these integrated rests is everything lines up perfect for you. So there's that. Now all we gotta do is put the side cover back on, which is what we took off originally in the first place, and that sandwiches the whole rest to the bow, so. You can tell I just slid that in there. I like to get everything started by finger first instead of using the tool to do it because you'll cross thread it. Now all you're gonna do is take that, tighten it up. You can see how the rest is kind of loose on the bow right now. But once you tighten this up, it sandwiches it all together. And you got a rock hard installation. So now you can tell nothing moves. And that's it. That's all it takes to get that part on the bow. All right, guys, for the next step is what I call the little plastic football. It's hard to see, but uh, it comes in your little parts kit. But all you have is a nut on this side 
and this opening here that goes to your string and then you got this side you've got your screw and that's what's going to hold it all together so all you got to do and your inside cable is your downstroke on the uh on the cables when you draw so all you do is take this and you're going to sandwich it in between make sure you can see it right there in the camera and all you got to do is that right there which i put it on backwards well not really because i can tighten it on this side so you're going to take that i like to get them a little snug because the next step i'll show you is how you set your set the rest to actually come up, which you can set it in two different spots, but we're gonna set it on this. So I'm gonna snug it up just a little bit more. Okay. All right guys, so the next step is we're gonna get the tilt of the rest set. So in the last like inch of your draw, that's when you want your rest to come up fully. See, that's where it locks out, but you want it to come all the way up and stop like that. That's when you're at full draw is when you want it like that. So that's what we're gonna set right here. So with it down, I'm gonna have to draw the bow like I'm gonna shoot it. And then we gotta adjust the string right here to where we want it. So it may take me a couple times to get it right. So right there, that's full draw. I'm gonna have to uh, pull some more slack down on the little thing I call football. It's not like the way I wanted it to. So right there, that's pretty good. It's a, uh, Alec, if you want to swing around the other side, you'll be able to see we're pretty much at, we're at full draw and your rest is all the way up right where you want it to be. All right guys, so we did a little more tuning. We, at the last like inch of your draw, you want this rest to kick up fully like that. So in the last part of the video, it wasn't fully kicking up. So we did a little more tuning on it and uh, I'm gonna show you how when I draw it back, how that kicks all the way up. So here I go, I'm gonna go ahead and draw. About the last inch of my draw, when I settle back, right there, it kicks all the way yeah. up. So I've got it completely drew back and it's ready to go. So when I, if I was to let go with an arrow in it, it's ready to fly. All right guys, as you can tell, that's a pretty, pretty simple installation. Uh, me and Alec, uh, we're going to install his peep sight and his sight on there and try to go out and get a baseline of where, we're, where it's shooting at, what we need to adjust and all that kind of stuff. So I'll give you a quick little go around of the, uh, of the wrist. It's kind of hard to see with my light on in the background, but you've got it right there. You've got your up and down adjustment. Let me get this to focus. Where's Alec? Come on, focus. But anyways, you got your up and down adjustment here, which is micro tuning right there. Uh, you're gonna go left for up and right for down. And then you got the same adjustment here on, well, let me get it focused, get it moved in here right. You've got the same adjustment here, which is micro adjustable. Uh, you loosen this up here, this Allen screw. And then on the front of the rest right here, you're gonna go, I believe, left. You're gonna turn counterclockwise for left and clockwise for right. So that's all we got for this video here. Pretty simple installation. Hit up Perfect 10 Outdoors and uh, get your setup. You've got everything you need, so just go there and get it.